Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. All right, so we had our Codex episode last time, so no need to go back over all of those. So I kind of asked what we should do moving forward, and the consensus was to go ahead to go ahead and go back to the hinterlands. So let's do that. Mm, where do we want to teleport in? Let's do this and go up. Does that sound good? We'll do some shards and a rift. Let's do that. Yes. 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 Please and thank you. Let me make sure that we've got what I want selected. So let's head up for this one. So we're kind of facing this direction, so let's go down this way. Oh no! <sighs> Let me level us up. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. So let's run down this path. I'm trying to Skyrim a little less. So we'll be taking paths and the like. Oh, that goes down farther. I thought this was just more of a, a dead end path. Just so I could explore a little bit more. Okay, nothing that way, so let's continue. I hope everyone is doing okay in these uncertain times. I know it's kind of been difficult for those of y'all, those of us, had to be inside as much. Oh, they just appeared out of nowhere. My sound seems a little delayed. Oh, look. <laughs> I need to put it on Y, though, because Y is my default for that one from the time I played previously. God, that was like five years ago. That's insane. Okay, good. There's nothing behind us. It's crazy to think that so much time has passed. I feel like the older you get, the quicker it goes. Or maybe that's just me. Maybe it just is quarantine getting to my head. The days all blend together. But I hope everyone's doing okay. I've noticed a lot of like quarantine-esque content from a lot of the YouTubers that I follow. Um, especially the ones who require on collaboration, like Unis Honest with Mark. Markiplier and Ethan from Prank Gameplays and Try Guys, for instance. It's rough. Like, it's affecting a lot of the way that we do even our basic tasks. Like, I had to, when I had to order groceries the other day, I had to do, like, the online stuff. I've never done that before. Like, don't get me wrong, it's super cool, and I think that that's a great idea to contain any potential spread. But it's also... It's, it's also harder. I mean, clearly, I like to go to the grocery store. I like to just stroll down the aisles, look at all the cool things, and I shop at, ooh, please no, not me. I shop at a place that's, uh, it's called Central Market. It's like a fancier Whole Foods, if, if that's uh, a good descriptor. Think of like uh, the marriage between World Market and um, the other one I just said, Whole Foods. Did I miss? Oh, it's just the cell fruit. And so it's got a lot of like international imported stuff. It's, <laughs> as Merlin would say, bougie AF. Um, and so it's it's really a fun experience to go. Uh, that's a date for us, because Merlin likes to do the same thing. And so when I had to order the groceries, I know this is really a first world problem sounding, and I'm sorry. It, it was definitely a wake up call that we really have to adjust the way in which we do things. It was a little sobering, especially because like being unable to have a lot of dairy or eggs or anything, like my choices for what I can eat are more limited. Let's see if we can do this. 
I believe in us. No. Ugh. All right. We'll get up there. We just gotta... Oh my god, is there literally a path right here? I hear your whispers. So we also just finished, because I've been watching a lot more TV. You think the Inquisition could maybe find out what these things are? Maybe. I think we can definitely try. Um, we've been watching a lot of Netflix and shit lately, right? Working through Fruits Basket, and we just finished a show called Lock and Key, but L-O-C-K-E. Uh, it's a surname. And, oh, no. Hold on, let me find my shard first. I hear the whispers. And they have, like, magical keys in the show that also... Oh! I was moving out of the way! That also, um... Call to potential users by whispering. So it really reminds me of that. I'll be super excited when we have more abilities. I like punching different buttons. <laughs> Oh, more of these guys? Oh, hey, I... Nope. Please, nope. Ah, It wasn't quite ready. Can you not? Disconcerting to be vaulting the opposite way to my screen is facing, but that's okay. Is it time to go? Can we please? There we go. got that weird weather vein to it. You'll see that? Is that just like hanging from the... Uh, it is hanging from the tree. That's interesting. I wonder what that's about. Almost no loot from that. Oh, wow. We finished our tasks pretty quickly. What's next? So there's something here. Oh, possibly. All right, let's do that. So, I think this is the way we wanted to go for that. I'm trying to be really good about the controls this time <laughs> because of course I, I didn't stay off the switch like I said I would. Animal Crossing came out, okay? I just want to do stuff on my island and I'm super fucking psyched because now that the Easter stuff is out, there's cherry blossoms everywhere, and like they have like super cute Japanese themed stuff you can get now. So like an outdoor picnic set, set that uh, has like really cute dumplings in it, like the sweet kind that you get. Uh, they're round and sometimes different colored, and you put them on a stick like a kebab, but not. They're Naruto all the time. And so I'm just oh my bad. I would just want to jump. Let's get in here. Actually, can we? Boop, boop. Oh. All right. Can... Yeah, we can go around like we did last time. This is deja vu-ish. Have I been in here? I've been in here. We really need to clear this area out so we stop like going into the same areas. But I guess we need to clear all these people out. No thanks. <laughs> That's the name of that ability. No thank you. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and it looks like Cass finally leveled up, maybe? No, I'm wrong. Everyone leveled up but Cass, and I'm not sure why. Did we look in here? Is this the one we've already been in? Oh, I hate the way it just got quiet all of a sudden. It's ominous. No, we haven't been in here. Oh, I missed something. We'll go back and get it, don't worry. But this was here. Is it bad that I immediately wanted to just launch into High School Musical? There's a song called Right Here, Right Now. And I was all about High School Musical because it came out when I was in high school. And, uh, I thought it was... Oh, oh! I see where we are now. We yes, need to go back. Sorry. Oh, let's not steal. 
We can figure it out without taking something from somebody who might need it. All right, let's go farther into the Witchwood. I guess that just means we gotta blaze a trail through people, which I don't like. I don't like mindless killing. Look at that sigil. I think that means if we get close or touch it or something, it explodes if I'm not mistaken. Aren't we supposed to be looking for supplies from them too? Like they're hidden caches of supplies. It's okay, we'll find the stronghold first. Because we did that for the Templars last time. Well, before the Codex episode, of course. I'm surprised y'all were as interested in that as as you were. Didn't it just oh there's more. It's a veritable forest. I mean it kinda is a forest, but it's a smorgasbord dance. Alright, let's keep looking. It's only fair that we deal with this after we dealt with the Templars. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Is he in the ice? Hey, no, no, no. No, thank you. I don't want any. Yeah, you get stuck on that rock. Hold still while I shoot you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, stop. We good? Okay. So there was also a sump there. That was that thing nearby. Oh, shit. These people are in the ice. Wild. Okay, so let's get this marker. Oh god, is it at the top of something? No, it's just right here, perfect. Let's claim that. Saga of Tear to Bright Axe of our mother. Fifth stanza. I think there's several of these. But I don't know which ones we've read. Definitely not four of them. So apologies that it's somewhat out of order. Tirda Bridax, bold and bloodied, took her tribe from placid plains. Tribes with blades by farming blunted, chased and fought their parting pains. To the mountains shorn of shelter, snow slick peaks give wind its bite. Found a cave to save her tribe, the dragon fire lit the night. Beast no blade could break came roaring. Mountains slipped their winter gown. Tirda shouts to leaf-eared lover, you I choose above a crown. Lightning split the spitting rains, sundered over prideful heights. Dragon fell and rubbled down, crashed and crushed an earth mad. Shaking? That didn't rhyme at all. Okay, that's fine. I was so proud of myself for staying in the in the rhythm, but oh well. And I hope that doesn't mean that she abandoned her people. Because, like, don't get me wrong, elf lovers, best, but I'm afraid that I, I supported that too soon and that maybe it was talking about her leaving her people in some way, which is not chill. And also why I would be a bad leader, because I'd be like, yeah, these people are great and everything, but I also don't want you to die. Oh, that's so cool. What a cool effect. I'm really sorry, my guy. Please just go to Red Cliff. Please go to Red Cliff where you're pretty safe, okay? You fight hard, Seeker. We would be dead if I did not. Uh, she's not wrong. Cass is so dreamy. Oh wait, hold on, let me claim this. Hold on, I'm claiming! <laughs> Saga of Tear to Bright Axe, Ever Mother, six stanza. Tear to Bright Axe, proud her tribe, free from fallow fat below. Built in battle, fed on fighting, strong from struggle did they grow. Deep in caves, the stone men tried, Hender's warriors, stout and strong. Met the tribe with axes ready, armor gleaming, sword blades long. Spoke with Tirda, did her level. Gentle whispers soft she made. Dwarven hearts were sundered, simple. Still with honor, thus she bade. Let the tribe the dwarfmen know. 
in their caves where they belong. Not with battle, but with trade. Hendor's dwarf gave peace on breaking. I hate the way the last one doesn't rhyme. Okay, yeah, let's... Guys, please just go to Red Cliff. You'll be safer there. Oh. Oh, he's not dead. I thought that his bar was all the way down. Please stop. Aww. We still haven't found their stronghold. So I guess we get to keep murdering Wonton Lee and hate it. What is this? I really want to open this. Uh, do I go through there? Because it's marked in some way? Is that a means by which to let other apostates know that this is the right way? We can try it. Belly of the Burnt Men. I don't like that. I know everyone needs to level up. Maybe I should do that really quick before we get into those wolves. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's good to go. Are you guys chill? I feel like because you have health bars, you're not chill. I really don't want to kill the wolves, though. I'm sorry, guys. The eyes. Some good AoE though. Oh! Please no. Please no. I'm sorry, Peppers. My god, they're so big. Look how big they are. Yikes. No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad. Or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. How unfortunate. What is this? So why is there that blue marker? Do y'all see that? <gasps> Hello? Are you okay? Oh no, are you that buffalo? You that buffalo. You are that buffalo. I'm not supposed to be here quite yet. I am a I. Okay, so this is another quest. Oh, but you're not a wolf. No, don't kill the warrior. She's my friend. And she's a nice lady. Okay. We're kind of on the cusp of the area. Oh shit, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't finish? I doubt these were Mia bandits. They moved with the efficiency of a trained group. Ugh. His voice is so nice. <laughs> Said any person who romances Solus. Okay, so we'll have to. Yeah, we're leaving the area. Shit. Where are we on the map? Yeah, we're, we're leaving. God, we need to go back up. That way? Let's try that. We'll come back. We'll come back for the buffalo. We'll come back to do the wolf thing. But I don't want to clear shit before I've got the quest for it. You know what I mean? I honestly don't remember where that quest is, so maybe when I'm done with this, I need to go and explore for more quests. For right now, let's try to get this taken care of. Because we still need to find this mage encampment. See, look at all these chests just sitting around. Okay, this one I can't open. I was like, bruh. Trying to pay good attention to our surroundings too. Oh! I sense magical energies ahead. The mages can't Oh my be god, fast. did I put it like almost on the spot? Nice. I'm sorry, friend. I really wish it didn't have to be this way. 
Oh, do I need health? Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, I'm so used to the jump back being on Y. Press left button. Healing potion. Did she just throw it on the ground? <laughs> Lots of stuff to pick up. I don't love this bow, but it does the job. It's just ugly. I'm one of those people who, like, for instance, when I started World of Warcraft, I played a hunter, a huntress, if you will, and there was a very pretty robe in the starting zone, so in, like, the Fairspring Square. No, Fair Breeze Village area, of course, of the Blood Elven starting zone. Uh, fire can be changed by cold attacks. Ooh. I don't know what kind of elemental magic solaces. Can you show me? I mean, it looks like it's still doing some damage. Worked. I was about to do his cold spell, but it was taking damage. I guess it just doesn't take as much damage if you it doesn't need as much damage to come down if you use the other one. Anyways, World of Warcraft. Tiny me. Baby Huntress. Wearing a robe. So level 20 something. Because it was pretty. I'm part of the reason why hunters have a bad name. Yes, I wore that to dungeons. <laughs> um, for those of you who aren't familiar with World of Warcraft, hunters do not wear cloth gear. They don't wear robes. But it was very pretty. And I was really excited about it. Are you healing him, baby? I'm gonna need you to stop that. Please. I'm really sorry that things have to go down this way. It's not what I wanted. Please don't kill the warrior. She's... Oh. The king's road should be safer, at least for the time being. At least we got some sweet here. I hate that outlook. I killed a lot of people, and I got stuff. Navarin Skull really didn't want that. Maybe I'm being too critical of <laughs> adventure games. I don't really need to be stuck here, do I? Is this hard to look at it from a non-murder hobo standpoint? Like, cause in like, I guess a lot of people in D&D &D do just like kill a bunch of people and take their shit without like any regard as to human decency. You wouldn't just walk up to somebody on the street. I guess some people would. Like, for instance, if there was ever, like, a natural disaster, people loot shit in each other's homes. What is it called? It's called looting, right? Yeah. Okay, S. What is this? Can I move this? looks like that rock goes somewhere. And notice how one, this one is lit up, but this one isn't. What is this? What is this? Solos, can you cast magic at it, baby? Can I aim? What about if I shoot it with an arrow? I can't aim, though. It's an auto lock. I kind of wish I could aim. Weird. I want to know more about this. Guys, if there's anything about this that I need to know, let me know because this is really cool. This is like a Zelda feel to it, and I really want to figure out the puzzle. But I don't know if that's even a puzzle I can figure out, if it's a puzzle at all. Ooh, Royal F room. All right, so this quest is complete. 
So we should probably go turn it in and try to pick up more quests so I don't keep running around in areas that I know there are quests in, but I can't do them. Okay. Rip. How unfortunate. God, we're gonna have so much elf fruit. Make all the potions. Um, yes, I have fielded some of the comments about healing. What's over there? And how I need to be more mindful of my, not in a scolding way, but hey, don't forget to be better about party members' health. I will. I, I guess I'll just go ahead and give them potions because when we get back to the camp, it just refills our potions, right? If my memory serves. Hey, stop that. Don't hit him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, left button, healing potion. Sandra, left button, healing potion. Bam, problem solved. Even though I'm headed back to camp, like, literally right now. <laughs> well, after I get done exploring in here. Because I really want to take this off my map with the marker that I made. By natural means. I know I could go and just take it off on the map. And if I have to do that, I have to do that. Redcliffe Road. Yeah, is it up there in a place I can't get? Of course it is. So let's grab this embryo. And this embryo. Ooh, there's a little ram up there. And that embryo. <laughs> okay. Is that a fox or another ram? I can't tell. And I can't see. But that's okay. So let's go back. Let's go back into town. Where's our turn in for this? Or do I, I don't have, no, I do have to turn these in, don't I? There's a quest here. So let's go to this camp. I spy with my little eye. No. Oh, come now, Seeker. I'm just trying to be friendly. Try to be quiet instead. When you brought me along to talk, perish the thought. I like how he's, like, intentionally making her life a little harder. Inspect requisitions. Do we have anything we need? Five velveteen. How do we re equip potions? Oh. Shoot. Are we all... Yeah. Perfect. It just automatically refilled us. Can we calm down, please? Thank you. Just because I pressed the wrong button. Oh, it's because I pressed B to get out of there. Okay, so for next time, we'll go ahead and pick up any of the other quests we can find so we can be most efficient. So when we are wandering around, we can wander and deal with quests instead of inadvertently. I mean, I wonder if we would still get credit. I don't know if we went ahead and completed quests that we didn't know we were completing. I mean, clearly the buffalo didn't work, because I think you're supposed to herd him. He's the worst. The druffalo, excuse me. Um, so I'll wander around a little bit more and try to pick up the quests that we can get our hands on. Um, we still also need to go south and get the other two agents that we can recruit. What else? Oh, I got some really awesome art that I commissioned from a fellow cosplayer, Starbit cosplayer, who was phenomenal. And she drew slash painted my main character, who's actually the namesake for my internet uh, pseudonym. Um, she's my main roleplay character in D&D &D and WoW. And it's the best and I love it. Um, she's still taking commissions if you guys are interested. I will link her website in the description, and you can find her under Starbit Cosplay on Instagram, as well as Starbit Art for more of her art focus. She posts on both pages, but the cosplay page is definitely going to have more cosplay, and the art page is going to be exclusively for art. Okay, so we've got our agenda set. Showed you my pretty piece of elf art. 
which I think is fairly fitting because we're in a fantasy universe. And I like to share with you guys the things that make me happy too, which is basically what this entire Let's Play thing is about. So I hope everybody stays safe, um, be healthy, make good decisions, be smart. And I will see you next time.